So ever since the launch of the new on 4K streaming box with Google TV, I've received a lot of questions asking me, is this a better device than the Chromecast with Google TV? So what I want to do today is just a quick comparison between the new on 4K streaming box versus the old 4K Chromecast with Google TV. So this is going to focus on the performance. So we're going to take a look at what's under the hood. Then we're going to compare the Wi-Fi performance. And in the end, we're going to do a full benchmark just to see where they stack up against one another. So before we jump into it, drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know which device you're picking to win this side-by-side -side comparison. Of course, in the end, I'm gonna let you know which device I would purchase and also leave links for both in the description. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell, let's go. So here we are with Ida64, and this is running on the Chromecast with Google TV. Just wanted to compare some of the specifications, what's under the hood. You can see the operating system, um, the code name, board, and so on and so forth. Uh, but we're looking at the RAM, we have two gigs of RAM. Total memory is gonna be 1934. Available memory is 766. So basically, um, this is uh, highly dependent on how many processes you have running. What's important to take away from this is just the uh, total memory, um, which is, uh, a little bit under two gigs now further down you can see the bluetooth version is four and let's go over to the processor all right so you can see the architecture there is a four core arm cortex a55 and the clock speed is 1908 megahertz uh, it is a 64-bit processor um, and you can see the four clocks running there all right so the gpu is going to be a Mali g31 Currently the monitor that is in is a 1080p monitor, but both of these devices are gonna be 4K. So here we are with the on 4K streaming stick with Google TV. I can see some of the product information there. Um, hardware is gonna be M-Logic. Installed RAM is two gigs, uh, just as a Chromecast with Google TV. And total memory available is gonna be 1990. Available memory is 669. So the CPU is gonna be a four core CPU. This is an ARM Cortex A35 that's clocked at 2004 megahertz. This is gonna be a 64 bit, um, but you can see right there it is running 32 bit mode. Display is gonna be a Mali G31. Currently we're on a 1080p monitor. So since we're here, we know that not all network cards are built equally. So let's do a quick speed test comparison just to see what we're getting from both devices. So uh, my app of choice is gonna be Analyti. All right, so connected to my 5G network. So let me go ahead and we're gonna open Analyti. And we're gonna just do a quick uh, speed test just to see how they compare. All right, just so you guys know, I am paying for 500 megabits per second. This one's is about 20 feet from the router. It is going through a couple walls, so that might um, interfere a little bit, but uh, both devices are in the same spot, so they should have similar results. So on the on, uh, first test we're getting 125 megabits per second download and 22 upload. Let's do a second test. All right, so 128 and 22. So uh, similar to what we got on the first test, uh, let's switch over to the Chromecast with Google TV. All right, connected. All right, so here we are in Analyti. All right, so first test we got 142 download and 22 upload let's do our second run and for the second test we got 135 download and 22 upload So here are the benchmark results for the new on 4K streaming device with Google TV. So overall score is gonna be 363. Um, you can see we have a graphics score of 304. The physics score, which measures CPU speed, got a 1,114. And when we scroll all the way down, you see our, our overall score as far as where we compare to other devices that were um, benchmark you see we're eight percent so basically the score is better than eight percent of all the devices that were measured all right so here we are on the chromecast with google tv running slingshot extreme So 
So here we are with the benchmark results of the Chromecast with Google TV. You can see the overall score there is a 352 um, compared to a 363 on the new on 4K streaming box. So um, just looking at the overall performance, overall score, looks like the on score is a little bit better. Now we dig in a little bit deeper. You can see the graphics for the Chromecast is 294. Where on the on 4K streaming box, it scored at 304. So a little bit better on the graphics performance as well. As far as the physics score or the CPU score, overall score here is 1133 versus uh, versus 1114 on the on 4K streaming box. As far as where this ranks amongst other devices that were tested, you can see this ranks about 8% better than all devices that perform this test. So really neck and neck when it comes to performance, On's going to get the slight edge um, overall, but Chromecast or Google TV scored a little bit better on the graphics side. So just overall, both devices are neck and neck. So let's do a quick recap. As far as the specification, the specs were really similar, guys. Neck and neck, uh, both had two gigs of RAM. CPU specifications as well as clock speed were really similar. And the graphics were pretty much identical. On the network side, both again were neck and neck. Chromecast or Google TV scored a little bit higher. But as far as just placement, how the devices are positioned, there could be a margin of error there that account for the speed difference. And last but not least, of course, we did the full benchmark in which again, both are neck and neck, but the newer on 4K streaming device with Google TV scored a little bit higher again. So when it comes to picking one of these devices, uh, I just think it's a no brainer at this point. The on 4K streaming device is gonna be about 50% cheaper, um, gives you a little bit better performance in my opinion. New design, new device. I do prefer the remote of the on 4K streaming box over the Chromecast or Google TV. Um, just comparing these two, on is gonna be the best bang for your buck. Both run Android TV as well, so there's really nothing in between them unless uh, you really just prefer the remote or the Chromecast over the on. That's the only thing that I can think of. Again, I just think on in 2023 is going to be a better bang for your buck, better performance, and I do prefer the remote a little bit better. So again, I'll leave links for both in the description. Uh, let me know in the comments section uh, if this video helped. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.